Hello everyone, Astaburn here, coming 101 to do another review. And I get a lot of questions from people asking me like, why don't you ever complete your toy before you review them? Well, I will, but I'm a toy hunter, and when I'm a toy hunter, I go out looking for used toys. It could be thrift stores, flea markets, swamp meets, and stuff like that, you know? So when I find them, I get excited, and it's now part of my collection, and, um, and I want to review them. But... After I review them, I hunt down their turtle toys, like the accessories, the weapons, their belts, and all that. And that takes a while to, um, you know, find everything to complete. But once I finally complete them all, then I make another move of review on them, how they look like when they're complete. So, when you're a toy hunter, remember, when you're a toy hunter, you don't always find what you have them complete, I guess you call it. But when you do, that's cool, that's awesome and everything, but still, you still gotta hunt down their accessories which is going to take like years but once you find them complete it's awesome and it feels great but like today I found a Karai that is open um, I will put the other Karai I have this Karai inside of her packages uh, from the, this is a TMNT 2007 um, CGI movie and I already did a review on her with Shredder and I think it was a foot soldier still in her package and I'll put that um, review underneath this one so you can check that one out and the other cry but might as well. So you go ahead and check those review out underneath this one. Um, yeah, I, f I got this one at Fighter Corners. I'm actually quite excited about this because um, it took me a while to realize do I have this open or not and um, no, I don't have one open. So now I do and I'm glad I never opened up the other package of the, you know, the movie one because that would be bad. So... Now I have one, and now I'm on a challenge to complete her. The thing she's missing is her weapons, of course, and her cape. Um, the weird part about this one is that they kind of pull a old school Casey Jones from 1989, because the old, old school Casey Jones is supposed to have two heads. When you have the head like this, and you pop it off and switch it to a different head, so one with a mask and one without the mask. Um... That one's going to be a little bit tricky for me to find her other head, the, the on mask one, because that's, that's pretty uh, hard card to find. According to some Playmates uh, sellers and uh, everything else, that uh, this considered as one of the most popular and rarest uh, figure out there. So I feel pretty lucky to have this and inside her package. But um, I'm pretty sure accessory is going to pop out sooner or later. It's somewhere out there, but... I don't know about the head part, which I'm not too worried about the, the, the head part because I feel kind of awkward just when you grab a Raider Turtle toy and trying to, you know, pull them apart and put it back on. I mean, it feels weird pulling the turtle head off, you know. Um, but the weirdest thing is, I mean, her head does move, but I tried to take off her head, but it was like really, really stuck in it and I feel kind of awkward because I feel like I was going to break my toy. And when you're a collector and you have that feeling moment, like, I don't know if I really want to try it. Just leave it alone the way it is. But, yeah, you pull the popper head off. And then it feels kind of awkward. But the problem is, I still had to pop her head off no matter what. Because if I find her cape, the, I had to take off the thing, wrap the cape around her, um, the, the little hole underneath her, um, her neck. And then place the head around top of it so her cape would be hanging out and everything. Kind of like, um... Um, Lionheart, you know, or, uh, yeah, the lion from the Ninja Turtle one. Same thing. If you have his cape, you gotta, you know, take off the head to place it on a wrap around uh, the the lump part, and then place the head on top of it. I really, really hate toys doing that. I, ugh, it just feels awkward and weird when you have to re take something apart. But um, since this is a single um figure. And like I said, I don't have no accessories. We're just going to show you how, what she looks like up and close. And then, of course, we're going to ooze her. And we're going to look for some eBay villain. But um, don't forget, check out Fire Corners. Their um, link is underneath this video right here. Uh, go straight to their Facebook and write to them. Ask them what you're looking for. Or ask them whatever they have. Do you have this? Do you have that? They do post up some ups, ups, like, you know, upgrade stuff. Like, all right, we just got something in the store. They will post up a picture of it. You want it? Write to them. Um, go to the store. Their address is on there and their phone number is on there. And check out my buddy Jared Tomato. He does the same thing as I do. We go out hunting for turtle toys. Well, he hunts for everything else, but he goes out looking for other, you know, 
accessories and uh, toys, and then he reviews them. And not only that, he does contests, and they're really cool contests. I love his contest stuff. So if you like his stuff, he's a really chill kind of guy, subscribe to him and everything. All right, let's get straight to the review. All right, all right. Here's Karai. I forgot she's a little bit taller. This is what she looks like up in close. So let's, I'll just let you know. Uh, yes, I paint my nails black. I It's a gothic thing, but um, I got a little oozy on the fingertips, uh, so like, slimed out and everything. Anyways, so we got Karai. This is what she looks like with her mask. Very, very cool. Now the girl who plays her did. A, I love her voice. She did a great voice for Karai. I can't remember the name of the movie. She did Sasa or or shit. I wish I remember the name of her, her, her the actress name in the movie. But she's this awesome actress. I haven't seen her doing anything lately, but she did a very very good job doing Karai's voice. You can see Karai's hair do over here. It's like very anime kind of style. It'd be kind of cool to wear something like that for over your head when you go out clubbing. Um, let's see. Let's see, a lot of people like to argue me on this part. I put down 2006, and people are like, no, it's going to 2007. And as you can see, 2006. Mortgage Studio Playmates. Toys made in China. Now you gotta understand, the toy comes out first. They had to get it ready before the whole, um, you know, the movie comes out. Which Playmates should be doing now. You know, Get the toy first, or make the toys before you know you had to release it. Because if you're gonna get, if you're gonna rush something, it's gonna look like crap, and it's gonna look completely horrible. And you're, well, you're not supposed to be rushing things. And they did a good job with this one, but this is a whole different maker of Playmates toys. Somebody else decided to do this instead. Um, as you can see, her chest armor right there, and yes, her hips does move. So. Of course, her shoulder pads. Very cool looking. Very, very good detail. I love this suit. I don't know why. I mean, kind of, kind of a kinky kind of suit if you think about it. I don't know what you want to call this piece, brown or crotch part, but maybe a metal leather kind of thing. I don't know, Karai has always been like the the kinky, sexy, kind of style kind of chick. She always has been like that. And I'm starting to get used to the whole skinny leg thing and the skinny arms like they did with Casey Jones and all that. Like, I mean, it's very, very thin. And of course, a uh, serial number right there underneath her foot. And the holes are, somebody asked me again what the holes are for, uh, just in case they made a vehicle for them, or they could found any vehicle and they had a little, um, but, like, kind of like a button, like, sticks out like this, and then you can just push it right on there so they won't fall off. Um, there is no joints for the ankles, there is no joints for the kneecaps, so pretty much all she could do is that when you stand up or sit her down. There is no, well, there is a joint for her elbow part. There's no joints for her wrist. So when people remember, when you guys are complaining about, like, oh, they didn't have no wrist joints. Well, it's true, but we never had those in some of the other toys either. But I never heard anyone complain about it until this series. And yes, it's true, they need to kind of step up a notch a little bit on their upgrading stuff. But still, we still had the same thing back in 2006 to slash 2007, you know. Because, you know, there's no wrist joints or anything like that, but we do have one at their elbow part. And, of course, the arms does go out. Touchdown! But the mask barely turns because the shoulder and how big the, 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 the hood part, hoodie part, I guess you call it. I really don't want to try and take off her head because, like I said, it feels very weird for a collector, like me as a collector. Cause I feel like I'm breaking it, and I don't like that feeling at all. But I'm trying to stand her up, 
even though this chair is like tilting a little bit. There you go. As you can see, she stands up. Uh, anything that's tilted like this, she does not stand still, or I mean, stand still. She actually doesn't stand up very well. She has little skinny legs. And you can barely do much about it. But if you find a way, to just angle it out just like that. That's perfect. So, and of course, I have a feeling someone's gonna ask me this question. So let me go get him real quick. All right. Yes, I have a feeling somebody asked me this. So I might as well do it. So here we go. This is how tall she is compared to Don Tello. The 2000 uh, Team and T CGI toys were actually very tall, taller than the two uh, the 2003 slash 2008 um, um, cartoon version. So that's how tall she is. She's, she goes, she, had, she towers over Don Tello. We all know Don Tello's the tallest. Um, these do not fit well with the old school turtle toys, like the vehicles. I mean, you could try to fit on some of them. She might fit on her, but not too very well. Like the Shell Razor, the Party Wagon, Technodrome, she does not fit well. I mean, if you put her down like this, and set her down, maybe she'll fit a little bit, but you gotta bend her a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, so only their own vehicle to actually fit well. Which is only like, you know, let's see what they have. They had a tower, and then they have the, um, the Carl's van, which of course she fits in very, very well. But still, the party wagon and all that, no, you can't, no, no can do. Which kind of sucks, though. But it's okay, because, you know, you got the newer stuff that actually could fit perfectly with um, the other ones as well, so. And yes, I am one of those fans that wish that Leonardo and Cry would have kissed for once. To, for me, for God's sake, let those two kiss. Well, we kind of can because, you know, they're brother and sister now. So, it's a kind of awkward moment. Alright, so, like I said, uh, I did find this at Fire Corners, just the way it is. Um, I will complete her. I, I love to complete my Ninja Turtle toys. And I do have folder themes, like... Themes like water toys, um, wind up toys, basic toys, villain vehicles, and yes, I actually have a complete accessory toys reviews. And I'm going to complete Karai and uh, make another review out of her. And like I said, I won't make I won't call it part two, I will call it as a complete accessories so you actually can see what to expect, what to look for, and maybe you already have the weapons, you didn't even know it belongs to her, stuff like that. Um, to me, I like the way she looks. I give her A plus um, for the paint job, because the paint job looks fantastic. Uh, the joints, I wish I could do a little bit more with the joints, but they probably couldn't because you know the legs are all skinny and, and they probably won't bend very well, or maybe get too flexible, we don't want that. Then you can't extend her up very well. But, yes, uh, these are different uh, makers of Playmates. They do switch around for every every um, every generation, I guess you could call it. But, I love... <laughs> I love the suit. Like I said, it is very... Very attractive suit. If, if any woman, including my girlfriend, who wears this, I find this very attractive suit. I mean, it's mysterious... Mystic kind of like. I like that. This is really cool. I mean, it's pretty cool to wear it going clubbing or golf golf night. But, so, there you have it right there, people. Um, if you like this review, um, I mean, like I, I know it's not very much, but I am showing you what it looks like up and close. I never did that to the other review because, like I said, she's still in her package. And I'm not going to take her out anytime soon or ever. Um, like I said, if you want to know what her weapons looks like or the face looks like, scroll down, look for Karai 2006, and click on the link, which is, have, like I said, Shredder, Karai, and the Foot Soldier team up together on that one, so go ahead and check that out to see what the weapons and the face looks like. Um, but I, this is good because I can show you what it looks like out of the package. Um, yeah, so push like if you like this review. It does help out the video. 
Share this with your friends. Uh, I know there's a lot of Karai fans out there, especially females who like to dress up like her. And if you're one of those Karai girls and you never knew this Karai even exists, there you go. Maybe you can make a mask like this or something like that. I mean, here you go. Maybe you can get a better look at how her face looks. Looks kind of like a cat-like. And her hair. This is her hair underneath. like curl over. And a big old um, hoodie over it. So feel free to pause it if you need to get make this costume to draw, you know, draw it out and make it. I prefer boots. I don't know what uh, looks like she's wearing shoes, but uh, that's what she looks like. So feel free to pause uh, the video if you want to draw it out. But I'm pretty sure there's a lot of Cry fans who would like to try this out to make this for their Halloween costume or just go out for um, Comic Con or whatever. All right. Well, that's my review, and I'm pretty sure someone's got to say something good about this um, toy. So, if you own this Karai, put your thoughts on the comments. Um, was it hard to pull off her head to put the other head on? Do, do you agree with me? Does it feel kind of funny, kind of awkward, trying to rip her head off? If Does it feel like you're breaking your toy and you just decide just to leave it alone? You know, that's, that's really weird. But, um, there you go. Alright, so like I said, it's a short review. Um, I wish I had her, her accessories and everything, but when you find used toys, you gotta show it off, man. <laughs> Alright, so. Where did I put her? So, yes, I would have to say these are collectible, and I would have to agree that when she first came out, I had to fight for her. Seriously, because. A lot of people went after her, because everybody loves Cry, and when, they, when she came out. She was sold out right away. And it was probably talking like a month for it to for people to find her again. But she was really hard to find. Luckily, I was there the first day when it came out, and I got it. And I, I'm i very happy to find her, that shit, her open. You know, it was really amazed I could find another one. And yes, yes, and I looked online that she is costing a lot of freaking money. Well, when it's, when it's complete. Now, if that's just open and complete, and I saw it around like 70 bucks to $80, imagine the one with the box, you know, if it's complete, you know, still in this package. It's going up to around 100 bucks, and it's pretty ridiculous. I mean, it's cool that she's, you know, rare and everything, but, or collectible, I'm sorry. But, you gotta get your hands on this, and if you find her for cheap, get it. You know, if you find her somewhere at a thrift stores, collectible stores, whatever, and if we're cheap and they're not trying to rip people off, get it. Okay, guys? Seriously. So, like I like to say, Firecorns, thank you for having us, and I'm glad i mm, so happy you're having this. Cry is my favorite, favorite villain slash person. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, maybe, they can make, maybe Nickelodeon might give her a suit like this or something. I don't know. But, um, yes, yeah, Collectors of Ninja Turtles, get your hands on Karai. She is collectible, and she's going to be worth a lot of money. Seriously, later on in the future, which we're way in the future already, but she's definitely worth getting for for your your collection and everything. Uh, one day Leonardo will get you know get to hold her, but all we could wish. All right, people. Like I said, put your comments down. Tell me your history behind yours and everything else, and add this to your collection. So now. We go into Ooze Cry, and I look for some eBay villains. So take care of yourself and happy hunting, everyone. See you later. All right, this was a tricky one because Cry, you know, this series has some really, really short, short legs and skinny legs. So if you put the ooze on her, she's gonna fall right over. We already learned this before. So having her hold on to her dear life, and maybe I could actually ooze her a little bit better. I don't know. Oh, no, maybe not. Wait, hang on, I got an idea. There we go. There we go. Hold on for your dear life, Lee. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Please don't let her fall. Oh, dear God, I'll let her fall. I forgot how it balances about her tipping over.
do 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 Alright, cry. It's worth a shot. Fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Oh, just hold on, lady. Why you gotta make things so difficult? Oh, man. Come on. You and your skinny little legs. Don't fall, man. What the heck? You had to keep falling. That might help. I hope. Press over here. Or not. Ah! Great. Great, great, great. Maybe we go like this. Don't look too bad. Just put it right there. I don't know. I'm not gonna hold it anyways. That shouldn't really look too bad. Looking good, looking good. Look like this. Maybe not. It's gonna fall. Flop! Watch, it's gonna flop. Steady. Yeah, that's gonna fall too. What's that so, so wrong? Afraid to put the whole thing on her, she's gonna go flying forward. Let's see how's this gonna look. The Queen Bee. <laughs> Surprisingly, my neighbors has been screaming lately. Watch I jinx it. Like, never mind. Speak too soon. <laughs> that look too bad. She just hasn't fallen over yet. I'll just fall on the table. <coughs> that looks pretty good. The final touch. This looking poor. Tag it! Ah, forget it. Yeah. Alright, well, she has been oozed very well. So, surprisingly, she stayed up. Alright, Cry has been oozed, and now we're going to take some pictures. And. 
What else? Oh, I look for some eBay villains. So, yeah. Yay! Alright, it's eBay time. Check this out. It's Megan Fox with her legs spread open like she always does. Alright, so it's supposedly it's signed by this chick. I don't know if there's any proof on it. I can't really see what that is, but it's Megan Fox with her legs open, of course. Uh, sign. Ooh, sexy sign. 8 by 10 full. But of course, it says Ninja Turtle because the bitch, I mean, the woman was on uh, Ninja Turtle. <laughs> This guy is probably wagging off to this, which is pretty gross. So, anything with Mega Fox is considered Ninja Turtles, according to this idiot over here. Uh huh, uh huh. Now, it's Mega Fox. Big freaking whoop. Okay, I. Eh. Um, this guy wants to for this much money for a piece of paper that was signed by this girl. I'd rather spend that much money on Kevin Eastman signing. Everything besides Mega Fox. Now, I'm a big Mega Fox fan, and I wouldn't spend a dollar on this woman because she did tell her tell the Ninja Turtle fans out there to go f ourselves. Seriously, look up the thing, look up everything that talks about Mega Fox. Talk about her the Turtles fan. She seriously told us to go f ourselves. So, do you really want to waste ten dollars on this little whore? I wouldn't. Um, yeah, especially somebody who tells me to go F myself, whatever, you go F yourself yourself, it looks like you're doing it on a couch. Uh, Mega Fox, good luck betting on you, man, rare, kind of beautiful. You know, this guy's just totally wagging off to this. Beautiful, amazing, hot, sexy, <laughs> I just cream myself. Whatever. This is like, has nothing to do with Ninja Turtles whatsoever. Recently, when a blockbuster hit Ninja Turtles, yeah, 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 this part was way before Ninja Turtles even started. And there's nothing Ninja Turtle in there, and, uh, whatever. So, not worth it, especially, like I said, especially some tramp who tells me to go F myself. Well, this little whore could F herself herself. Yeah. Tramp. So anyways, uh, yeah, put your comments down and tell me what you think about this. I'm pretty sure some guy would be like, Ooh, she's so hard. I'm going to touch myself. Like, dude, believe me, she's not worth it. She's not worth it at all. So, next time somebody put another um, celebrity on her and they told the, uh, the fans to go after himself, that should tell you what kind of person she is. All right. Yeah. <laughs>